folks, I am Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're continuing on with my budget updates, my monthly goal updates, and my net worth updates. So just to make sure we're on the same page, a little breakdown of me. I am a 30 year old female with no spouse, partner, or any dependents. I own my own home, which we are in right now. My net worth is positive over $250,000. The only debt that I have right now is my mortgage. There's nothing else that I have outstanding. I work a part-time job in the morning making pizza dough uh, about five days a week, about 20, 25 hours, and then a little bit of side hustle gig work on, on that. And then I'm working on building my photography business and this business as well. And of course I do have my pup Jackson who is like my child. So yes, that's a little bit about me. Um, before we get into my budget and net worth and all that, let's go ahead and take a look at my goals real quick. So for the month of April, my goals were to walk 43 miles, part of the Idaho Mission 43 semi-annual walk run thing. Um, I did do that. I went ahead and knocked out those 43 miles. It was a little harder than I thought it was going to be, um, just because of the weather and Jackson and all the things, but I did part of those. Uh, just walking Nate Jackson around the neighborhood and then on the trails and exploring that. I was not able to save $200 from my AC unit. Uh, it was a rough month as far as expenses goes. And I did not go on a full one day photo trip. I did a partial trip and that was fun. I got to see some deer and some elk and just kind of explore that. But it wasn't a full trip so I'm not counting it because I didn't, didn't really get what I wanted to get with it. So that's not a check mark. Um, I went ahead and planted seeds in my greenhouse and got those started and I'm getting ready to transplant into my garden this month. I did meal prep every, me every week. Uh, that is working out really well for me and it's helping me eat 135 to 140 grams of protein a day and that is the only thing that I'm really prioritizing right now is eating like a lot of protein. Focus on getting my protein in and not so much on how many calories I'm eating as far as veggies and carbs and fats because to me, those don't really matter as much as getting the protein in as I want to maintain muscle as I'm losing fat. And so that's what I'm doing as far as accomplishing my April goals. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my goals for the month of May. We're continuing on with that. I want to do three workouts a week. Uh, my goal right now is to do full body workouts and then depending on how it goes, transition to breaking out into like half day splits or a three day split or something like that. But right now, three workouts a week lifting weights. I want to save $500 for my AC unit. Fingers crossed we can make this happen. Go on a one day photo trip. Uh, we'll see, it's gonna depend on the weather. It's been so bad. Uh, transplant the seeds from my greenhouse to my garden, which also depends on the weather, but we are right in that window getting close to it. Continue to meal prep every week, and that is not for every meal, just baseline. And then continue to eat 135 to 140 grams of protein a day. So those are my goals for the month of May, and we are going to kick butt at accomplishing them. Now, let's go ahead and jump into my budget and see what happened and why I was not able to save $200 towards my new AC unit, as summer is coming ever so closer. We will start with taking a look at my personal expenses. So we went ahead and did $17 extra on my mortgage, making that a total $1,250 for that. $51.60 for my car insurance. I didn't owe any trash or sewer. I paid $9.60 out of personal expenses for my internet with an 85-15% split. So we paid the $50 for the internet down here out of business expenses. Um, I did pay monthly, my bi-monthly water bill for $30.72. That will jump up uh, in June when I pay that because I'll start watering the lawn and the garden and things. Electrical is way higher because it was so cold. It was so cold. Like, it's been really cold. Uh, so we paid $1, $190.30 on my electrical, which is where we lost about $100 of what I was estimating uh, here. And then for groceries, let's go ahead and jump to our breakdowns. So total, I spent $347.22 on groceries. Uh, looks like we did five different shopping trips. One of those, two of those are larger than the others, but we were doing all right there. As far as gas, we spent four times filling up my truck for a total of $100.21 spent on gas with $68.80 in credit 
for business expenses as far as doing gig work and other side hustles for that. And then as far as fun and other things, I did buy my fishing license for $35.28. The weather has been bad so I haven't caught anything yet. I spent $63.81 on garden stuff, $39.03 on food for Jackson and some treats, and then $8.05 on some self-care stuff. We'll just leave it at that. Bringing the total of fun and other stuff to $246.17. As far as eating out, I only spent $6 on parking. Um, I went out with a women's group that I've joined and I didn't get anything while we were there. I just had water, but I did have to pay $6 to park downtown. As far as health and maintenance, I spent $300 on counseling, $33.89 on shoes and meds and stuff, uh, $294 on taxes because I owed on taxes, and then $125.75 to prep and submit my taxes, uh, which is where we're seeing that large amount of money that I did not save. Uh, bringing that total to $753.64 spent on health and maintenance and basic stuff. And then as far as birthdays and holidays, I did do a little bit of shopping there uh, and spent $21.58, bringing my total personal expenses to $2,907.04. And uh, ouch, that was painful. Uh, let's go ahead and jump down to business expenses. So as far as business expenses goes, we already have that internet split right here, $50 for internet. And then I did have to purchase my annual subscription to the Microsoft Suite so I could use Excel and Word and PowerPoint and all those things. And that caught me just shy of $70 there. As far as expenses for Holy Smokes Enduring Finances, I should, as far as expenses for Enduring Finances, we did not owe any this month. For Holy Smokes Photography, we had $10.40 in Etsy fees and $19.29 in Etsy marketing. Um, didn't do any sales or shipping or printing or anything like that. And then as far as additional income, the only thing that we're seeing expenses wise is that gas that we are tracking on a little notebook that I keep in my truck with me. That's $68.80, uh, bringing my business expenses to $218.48. Now let's go ahead and see how much money I made. So as far as income goes, we see that $508.05 with the VA benefit. I made $1,237.91 for my part-time job, so a little bit more there. We've adjusted the schedule and the hours a little bit, so I think I'm going to see about $1,200 a month average on that. And then I made $59.87 from another source that I'll just leave as other. As uh, far as earn earning finances, I earned 65 cents off of website ads, so I'll take anything there. And then as far as Holy Smokes Photography, we didn't sell any prints, but I did earn $3.35 off of stock photos, and that is just passive residual income that is slowly coming in off of work that I've already done. And then the bulk of the money I made from this is going to be from the additional income gig hustle stuff. So I made $75 off of dog sitting made $480 donating plasma. I made $8.75 doing DoorDash, and this is because I was doing Uber Eats, and it was slow, and so I jumped onto DoorDash real quick, and I got an order, and I completed the order, and then I went back to Uber Eats. So that's where that, that little pie is coming in there. I made $29.25 doing Lime Scooters, and then $424.40 doing Rover, doing the last of the dog sitting, dog walking, dog sitting, housing, that types of things, and then $86.01 off of Uber Eats, making my total additional income earned to $1,103.41, making my total income from that to $2,913.23, so a little bit more than I was anticipating, but my expenses were a lot more than what I wanted. My total expenses were a little bit higher than what I wanted them to be, coming in at $3,125.52. My total income was $2,913.23, taking a loss of $212.29. And then to break that down a little bit further, we can see the personal expenses versus the income, and then the business expenses versus the income. So my personal expenses are just higher than what I'm making, um, but my business expenses are pretty low in proportion to how much I'm seeing in return there. And then jumping into investments, let's go ahead and take a look at that because uh, we've made $605.44 off of investments. So let's get into that. 
I know it's a little bit funky here. I made two dollars and one cents off my high yield savings account. I made one hundred and nineteen dollars and eighty cents off of my stock portfolio. Those are from dividends. We didn't do any stock trades or have any fees with that, so just one hundred and nineteen dollars and eighty cents. As far as Lending Club goes, I made $5.32 off of principal paid back to me, and then $0.88 cents in interest coming back to me, and then I paid $0.06 cents in fees for a total of $6.26 earned from that. As far as my 403B retirement account, I saw a return of $353.90 but they did take out a lot of fees that they've been waiting on, so $7.50 lost in fees for a total return of $346.40. And then my thrift savings plan, my TSP, uh, we saw a return of $123.47 with no fees taken out, bringing my total investing returns for the month of April 2023 to $612.88 with $7.44 in fees for a total return of $605.44. So we are slowly seeing the market hopefully even out and kind of work its way through the kinks. Uh, but that wraps up the budget aspect and the investing aspect of my breakdown. Um, let's go ahead and jump over to my sinking funds. Just a little breakdown of what I'm looking for here. So we can see estimations for birthdays, Christmas, Jackson, my emergency fund, my AC unit, and trips. Um, we didn't do a lot of saving this month, but we are still working towards all of these, mainly saving for trips. Uh, I've got a trip to Seattle area planned for the beginning of July. My AC unit that we might have to reevaluate if I'm able to get that done, because I don't think I'm going to get it done in time for summer. And then rebuilding my emergency fund, slowly working back to that $12,000 there. Uh, but that wraps up the budget aspect. Let's go ahead and jump over to my net worth and see how we did there. As far as my net worth goes, we have our net worth is your assets minus your liabilities, and hopefully it's positive. It could be negative. It just depends on how many liabilities you have. Uh, for the primary breadwinner of my assets, we have my house, which is was appraised this last year at $367,800. I have $500 cash on hand. We are down to about $700 in my checking account, about $50 in my savings account, $2,000 in my emergency fund. My lending income balance has dropped down to just below $82. My ally stock portfolio is just shy of $30,000 there. My 403B is dropped down to just shy of $29,000. And then my TSP is just shy of $14,000. As far as personal property, we still have my truck valued at about $6,200, furniture about $600, gym equipment about $1,300, and then other stuff about $7,500 in my house, bringing my total assets to just shy of $460,000. And then the only liability that I do have is the mortgage on my house, which has dropped down to $189,021 and nothing else going on right now bringing my total assets to $459,256, my total liabilities a negative $189,021 for a positive net worth of $270,235 with a slight 0.43% increase in my net worth from the month of March. So we are slowly seeing that build over time and I'm excited to see that. But that is going to wrap up my budget and net worth breakdown for the month of April of 2023. I would love to hear how you are keeping track of your budget and how you're doing as far as savings for different things. And uh, I will see you next time when I break down all of the dividend income that I earned from my brokerage account, my stock portfolio. So, toodles!